Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about filters in the dashboard. Filters are powerful components of dashboard reports. They let you determine the projects that are used in your reports based on the criteria you specify. Filters determine the projects that appear in the column sets, which in turn determines the data that appear in the summaries. For example, when you set the status in individual projects, in this case to completed, you can use the status filter in the dashboard to see all of the projects that have this status. Using filters, you can quickly modify reports to display specific projects in the dashboard. For example, when using a dashboard report to conduct a meeting, you can toggle between the projects that various stakeholders are responsible for. When you apply a filter by default, such as this filter for financial analyst Amelia Mayer, you create at-a-glance reports for stakeholders that always contain the projects they are interested in viewing without the need to interact with the report. Let's take a look at dashboard filters and how to create them. There are two types of filters, static filters and dynamic filters. Static filters contain conditions for one or more data fields, such as this filter set up to display only those projects that present a replication opportunity, or this filter set up to display only those projects in progress in Philadelphia. You can only apply these filters or remove them. Dynamic filters contain a list of options for a single data field. For example, this filter is set up to display projects from multiple locations. You can choose to select one, several, or all the options. Now, let's create some filters. We'll start with a static filter. Click the Actions button. Choose Edit Report, then click the Filters icon. Click the Add Static Filter button. Name the filter Completed Auto. Click Select a Field and choose Business Unit from Project Summary. Under Condition, choose Is, then Automotive under Value. Choose the Status field, Is from Condition, and Completed under Value. Leave Match Criteria set to All because both criteria in the filter need to be met when you apply the filter in the dashboard. If you were to select any, you would get projects matching either condition, not both. Click Done. Select a new filter and view the projects list to see that only completed automotive projects appear in the dashboard. Also, the data displayed in the summaries reflects only data from completed automotive projects. Please note, the isIn filter condition automatically updates summaries and reports. For example, you can use it to display phase gate review projects occurring in the next 30 days or projects that are due next quarter. Now, click the Filters icon again to create a dynamic filter. Click the Add Dynamic Filter button. Click Select a Field and choose Location from Project Summary to add multiple options for location. You can click and drag to change the order of the list. Click Done. Select the new filter. Uncheck everything except Philadelphia and San Francisco and then view the projects list to see that only projects from those two locations are listed. If you were to add this filter to a report while in edit mode, and then save your changes, the filter and any settings you selected would appear as a default filter in the report. When you're in a dashboard report, you can add an existing filter, which is not part of the default report, by clicking the plus icon. Let's create a filter that shows projects based on the size of the financial benefit, so you can easily find those projects that have the most impact. Click the Add Dynamic Filter button. Click Select a Field 
and choose Project Estimated Hard Savings from Project Financial Totals. Click Select the condition and choose Greater than or Equal to. Enter 1 million in value and high impact in name to display. Then, add conditions for medium impact and low impact. Click Done. And choose the filter to make your selection of projects to view. As I mentioned earlier, before you save the report, you can set up specific filters as default settings that appear in the report. You can, of course, select other filters when using the report, but the default filters will still be in effect the next time you access the report. Also, when you add or delete filters, the Restore Defaults button appears, so you can reset the default filters with a single click. Let's take a look at the My Projects filter. It's a dynamic dashboard filter that contains a default list of values that you cannot change. However, you can choose whether the My Projects filter is applied and which values are selected by default. The Dashboard Search feature also lets you find projects. So what's the difference between using Search and using a filter? The Search feature is used on random content, often on a one-time only basis, to find keywords in any fields in your projects. Filters, however, have defined content and are used frequently to find data in specific fields. So that's our look at filters in the dashboard. They let you select the projects that help you define the data you want to see in your dashboard summaries. That, in turn, gives your stakeholders the laser-focused reports that can help to guide the key decisions your company needs to make. For more information and videos, go to www.minitab.com.